Girl, not my camera about to die already. Ugh. Hey girl, hey, welcome to another vlog. So I wanted to start off this vlog right, okay, because I did not have an intro and I was like, that's ghetto. So if you are new to my channel, hey girl, what's up? My name is Victoria. Make sure you guys stick around, hit that subscribe button, okay, because we have lots of fun over here, okay? Today is actually Friday, no, Saturday night. Let me make sure, Saturday night. And I'm getting ready to leave. I'm finna go out to eat. I'm almost done getting ready. I'm literally supposed to be leaving out the door like right now. But um, for some reason, my freaking edges is not one to stick to my damn head. I am that girl that likes the edges to, you know, stick. I don't like fluffy edges, like, because it just don't be looking right on me. This is doing my, like, finishing touches. Um, I need to spray my perfume. I have a freaking um, pimple. Unflo is coming into town very soon. So um, my face is tripping. My whole face is tripping. So I learned the trick from um gabriella on here on youtube like years ago and i'm pretty sure she wasn't the first one to do this but um if you have like a pimple you can make it like a beauty mold with eyeliner so i just take my eyeliner and because the pimple is like already popping out and protruding all over my freaking face i can just go ahead and put the dot right on top of the pimple you guys probably can't even see it like my pimple right there so um yeah you just put a dot over it and it looks like you have a mole, see? But it's right there. So I mean, it just adds a little bit of glam, okay, to where you would like be subconscious. Now I don't care. You can't tell I got a pimple there, okay? <laughs> Next thing is I'm going to spray some perfume. Bring my dossier, um, YSL Moon Pari. Girl, it smells like heaven. It smells so good, and I look so white. I really need to figure out these camera settings. Um. So yeah, with that being said. Let me see. Hold on. Better. Okay, so I'm all ready to go. Girl, I don't know what is wrong with me, but I always struggle to find a coat to wear when I'm going out. I never know what coat to wear with an outfit. It's really annoying. So, I'm going to show y'all my fit real quick before I leave out the door. Even though I said I wasn't going to show y'all. But here's the fit. This is the coat that I picked. I don't know what else to wear. So... Girl, let me know. This match, I know y'all ain't gonna be able to tell me until y'all see the video, but let me know if this coat matches, y'all, because I don't really feel like it does. Tell me get my shit together and think that's what you tell them every time. So, that's, that's, that's a good so I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go down with this. Hey, y'all. I was just listening to the Crew Season podcast. If you love podcasts, I highly recommend you checking them out. I know y'all probably like, girl, you didn't show us nothing from last night. What happened? We were supposed to go to this place called, um, I think it was like Taste of Atlanta or something. Girl, got there, the place was closed. I don't know, here in Atlanta, here in Atlanta, people close when they want to close. People ain't open when they're supposed to be open. Google said that they open. When we got there, it wasn't open. I was like so irritated. Didn't get to go eat there but we did go eat somewhere else and i've showed you guys in the vlog that plays plenty of times yard house so i was just like i don't feel like vlogging i was irritated so so you are going to see me like this a lot um in my upcoming videos because i'm filming oops, i'm filming like two different well three different videos no two different videos all in one day I'm trying to figure out what i want to do now as far as anything that i have going on i need to look at my schedule i've really been trying to like like write out my schedule for the week like on sunday and stick to it but girl like i really suck at routines if you are the type of person that suck at routines and you already know i am trying to get better at them and plus i'm on my cycle too so that don't really help so yeah my mood be all over the place and sometimes i don't feel like doing what i wrote down anyway girl i'm just gonna run to target real quick and pick up a couple things I'm finally back home from target I was going to pick something up to eat when i was out but i decided to come back home and make food at home because 
I have stuff here that needs to be eaten and I'm tired of spending money, okay? So I've been really stuck on like those Dorito nacho little mixture I be making. I've showed you guys in the vlog before how I do it, but I'll show you guys again, you know, just to show y'all. It's not really carb friendly or nothing like that. I'm on my cycle, so I'm kind of like being gentle with myself and not like whatever I want to eat I get, but for the most part, I just try to, you know, do portion control or only eat once a day. And girl, I gotta tell y'all what happened when I was trying to film the other day when I went and got my nails and stuff done, but I gotta eat first. So I'm gonna tell y'all when I got my plate of food and we can sit down and keep key girl because I, I gotta tell y'all what happened. So I'm back in my room. Yes, I eat in my room some time. I got my food. So good. So let me tell y'all what happened. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in this vlog to the no shop and I was getting my nails done and like halfway through me getting my nails done there was this lady that was like kind of like getting loud in the nail shop. Basically the lady that did her nails wasn't um listening to her and she put the wrong nail polish on her toes. And I was just thinking like, you sat there the entire time and let the lady paint your toes the wrong color and you knew it the whole time. And then you're gonna complain about it after the fact. Like I just, I didn't get that. So anyway, I'm getting my nails done, da 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 da. I hear her in the background complaining. Um, she's like, I'm not paying for my nails, da da da, da like going off. And then she was like, never mind, I'll just pay for it, I'll just pay for it. Cause they were getting ready to take the polish off and like repaint it and stuff. I'm getting my nails done and I see the lady run out the door. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, maybe she's running to catch her ride. Maybe she's, I just thought maybe she was trying to catch a ride or something. Girl, why the lady ran out the nail shop? Basically, when nobody was watching or paying attention, she ran out and didn't pay for her nails. She got her nails done, her hands, and she got her feet done. And it was like $80. The owner was like, oh my God, like I cannot believe we let that girl run out. Nobody was paying attention. Like they were just in shock. And I was like, wow, the ghetto. I have never witnessed that in my life that's what it is but i was just like whoa that is so crazy that people actually do that the same day i went and got my um i went and got some ice cream at cold stone so girl i'm in there you know doing my little vlogging thing trying to get some footage for y'all and i think i will put this in the vlog I come in i'm doing my little vlogging thing and the girl that's making the ice cream is arguing with a customer <laughs> um and the customer is walking out like i'm walking in and she's walking out and she's the lady behind the um, counter that's making ice cream. Like, oh, have a good and blessed day, ma'am, or whatever. Like, you know, trying to be funny because she was kind of mad. And the lady was like, yeah, you have a good day too. F you. And I got it on camera. Like, I don't know. I might insert it right here, but I did get it on camera. And I was just like what in the world is going on today everybody is acting a straight fool maybe it was a full moon or something but girl i was just like today is just real ghetto like i don't know what's going on people is really out here tripping but so yeah i will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow or something because today has just been a long day and i am kind of tired so yeah <laughs> Don't you ever, don't you ever do that. <laughs> he was mad. He kicked you real hard. He didn't, in front of everybody too. He kicked the daylights out of me. He tried to, you know, start being a certain way. Put people we met or whatever. My mama talking. That's like, who did this shit, huh? They already know. Yeah, you always moving my stuff. I be mad. I be like, then I put this here and she didn't move it. Girl, my, I'm trying to film and my mama just talking. Mom, if you're watching this, yes, I'm talking about you. You talk a lot. <laughs> and she a Virgo. You talk a lot, but I love you. Okay, just want to put that out there. I'm going to let you go. Oh, tell her I said hi. Mama. Okay. All right, love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. All right, bye. Anyway, y'all, so hey, what's up? Just got ready for the day. It's literally 1.53, okay? I seen this post on um, 
Instagram that was like, I think I'm gonna go to bed early. If I can find it, I'll pop it on the screen. It was like, I think I'm gonna go to bed early. And like at 3 a.m. you're Googling how tall was Jesus. And I'm like, that is me, 100%. Like every time, well, I think I just have insomnia anyway, to be honest with you. But every time I decide I wanna go to bed early, I never do. So I need to stop telling myself I'm gonna go to bed early and just go to bed. Hey girls, so we are in my room. You guys already know my filming space and what it looks like and all that. I feel like it's dark in here though. I'm always complaining of like all the clothes that I got and how I don't have enough space and storage and all that. Um, and I have a hack for you guys, okay? A company by the name of Life With. I will put it on the screen um, of the products that I received. They are on Amazon. They sent me over some storage containers and I'm so grateful, I'm so excited. I just wanna thank them for sponsoring today's video cause girl, I needed it, okay? I know as women, we love to shop. We love to shop, but we don't always have enough space. So I'm just gonna be going through like my items and storing away some of the items that I know I'm not gonna be wearing. Also, I'm gonna be storing away some of the items that I wanna put on Poshmark. Now, I have a lot of gems I'm about to put on Poshmark, you guys. I highly, highly, highly recommend you going over to my Poshmark. And if you're new, you can use my code down below and get $5 off your order. So I will show you guys some of the items I'm gonna put on Poshmark. Um, but for now, let me show you guys these bins real quick that they sent over to me. I'm so thankful, y'all, because I have stuff in big garbage bags. It don't look cute and it just looks messy okay so I was super grateful to receive these storage bins so I can like store my clothes and it looks presentable and don't look ghetto and crazy so it came in a pack of three into like nice looking storage containers um, that are foldable okay I have so many options on there as far as sizing what you can store in them like I mean it's really up to you what you can put in your stuff but they have so many options for everybody okay so these are the ones that I got and like I said these are like a cloth material but the material is not like a cheapy material it's a very heavy duty material so you can like pick it up and move it and slide it and all the things you need to do with it and it's foldable so you can easily you know put them away after you're done using them so this one I also like because it has like a clear like opening here in the front so you can see what you have in there and you don't have to like physically open it. You can already see it, okay? It does have handles on the side as you guys can see as well. So when you go to like slide it or pick it up, there's two handles, okay? So we love that. And then also it's a zipper, a double zipper to close the storage container. So it's a really big, big size. I don't even think my camera is picking it up, girl. Like I could probably fit, probably like majority of these clothes in this one bag. Like it is a big, big bag, girl. I think for now what I'm gonna do is just focus on this one rack. You guys can see, girl, it's, it's a lot of space up in here. Like I'm gonna put a whole bunch of stuff up in here. I cannot wait, okay, I'm excited. I said I'm posting so much stuff on my Poshmark. Y'all pick this stuff up. It needs to go. Everything must go. YouTuber named Fancy. She does like not sugar baby content, but like teaches women how to like date up, like as far as like men with money and stuff like that. Her content is actually really, really good, and it's not like your typical sugar baby content, you know. But anyway, so you know, I'm trying to figure out if I want to keep certain items or not. Please. I'm so sick of my neighbor's, I'm so sick of my neighbor's dog, it'll make no sense. So, okay, so I just got done pulling all the items that I want to put on Poshmark, 
putting them in my storage bin and as you guys can see I still have tons and tons of room in this bin yeah this is just from like one closet area in my house I have four closets that I need to go through um, and get everything together but for the most part girl this really fit a lot of stuff like I have some sweatsuits in here I have a robe in here I have like big old sequins dresses in here I highly recommend these storage containers if you are looking you know to create more space I will leave the link to this storage container down below if you guys are interested I literally just got back in the house getting my son from the bus stop girl these kids gonna give me a whole headache i guess the bus driver was holding all the parents up to tell the parents that the kids is getting out of control on the bus and i told my son look you don't even need to ride the bus he riding the bus because he want to ride the bus so we can pick him up and drop him off just fine so if the if the school call and they say that he after they review cameras and reports and all that he ain't riding that bus no more so anyway parenting never stops so anyway i'm about to get on my zoom call i literally just got in the house and it's three o'clock so i need to hurry up and get my butt on here what are the things that keep you up at night you know okay. what are the things that you like doing and hate doing mm -hmm. and then i have always had a love for fashion so i was like hey you know i'm plus size i have a certain body type look back on some of the content even that i made and i'm like oh cringy but it was just literally what we felt like doing it was you know easy it was simple these days i feel like everything is more crisp and clean and aesthetic and, and are you full-time uh working on your mm -hmm. i am i am full-time yep mm -hmm. never in my life used this white ass <laughs> okay <laughs> right please be as and honest, okay. gonna hurt I can do that. I can be honest. It's possible. <laughs> okay, girls. So I just got done with my meeting. You guys heard a little bit of it. I didn't want to like put all their business out there because this is a brand that is <clears throat> going to be hitting the market very soon. So they're kind of new. Um, so they're just running some things by a couple creators to get our, you know, our input on it. So it's really exciting. I can be a part of something, you know, new and starting up. That I feel like it's gonna do really really well just from me talking to them they were willing to compensate me um, my time is money and I'm glad they realized that so um, if they didn't want to pay me I probably wouldn't have had the conversation I ain't gonna lie but anyway so I am starving at this point and I need to clean my room it is a mess um trying to see what I want to eat I have no idea Y'all, yeah, so I'm at all these trying to pick out a wine, but I can't pick. So y'all let me know which one y'all like down below the best. I'm looking at this one. I don't know. Let's see. Which one I want. This is really good. I've had that before. getting back home i have been running errands i saw these a couple weeks ago looking for like a bailey's type liqueur is that what you would call it girl i don't even know but i just wanted like a creamy smooth drink and i found that drink that i showed you guys and i can't find it no more like every time i go to Aldi's, it's not there um it was the label was there like on the shelf but now the label is not even there so I just went to all these looking for the drink can't find it so i did find this drink right here this is the one i picked up it's like a vanilla bean drink and it's a creamy drink i've tried the chocolate one of this same brand i didn't really like it though um i had a coconut one if you guys remember of this brand and i really 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 liked it but i can't find it <laughs> no more so this one here is what the info on the back says this real ghetto but i'm gonna taste it right now i'm just gonna taste a little bit and then sip on it again later but let's just i'm gonna give y'all like a little taste test real quick let me so it smells like vanilla off rip it's vanilla bean so it kind of stink low key Okay, 
okay i spoke too soon this is actually really good and it's really creamy a lot of the all these brands wines get you lit I, I don't know what they put in it but girl it can't just be wine like it can't be, it be burning when it go down your throat so i know they put something else in it okay so yeah i'm definitely going to pour me up one tonight i'm gonna give me a little glass give me a little ice and you know pour this over it and it's gonna be really good as i chill watch a movie because like i said it's, it's been a long day it's been a long day okay so girl i was filming in the wrong setting this entire time i was filming in manual and i was supposed to be filming in auto so sorry if it was like dark and y'all couldn't see me this is the look i'm freaking late i'm going on a friend date print lover print whatever this top I got from Shein, it's like a yellow color, um, and it's like a crop top. I just featured it in my basics haul, literally like not too long ago. This cozy jacket I got from um, uh, Fashion Nova, it was a part of a set. And then my hair is just crazy wild today. I didn't feel like making it look wet or anything, I just kind of have it going crazy. So that is the look for today, some simple and cozy. It is really, really hot today. It's 60 degrees. <laughs> I came on for my life for like from a little beach, a little beach. We are meeting at this place called The Flying Biscuit and I've never been there. I'm finally here with my girl. Say hey. Hey. What's your channel? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'll put her on the spot. <laughs> it's Angel Lee. A N G E L L E. Yes. I'm a. I'm a link it. Okay, y'all. But we finna eat. We about to eat good. Like, look at this. This looks amazing, by the way. This is so good. Ooh. I'm about to grab y'all. So we just leaving the flying biscuit. It was good. It was real good. You like your food? I did, I did. <laughs> it's really good. Yes, yeah. So we finna walk over here to um what is it called? Nothing but cakes. Let's see what this is hitting for. Yes, I'm excited. Okay, y'all, so I'm back in my car. I cannot wait to try this. You guys already know I got a problem when it comes to sweets, girl. So happy that I finally met Angel. You guys, I've been following, well, we've been following each other for years now. Like I said, we literally just been following each other for years and never met. I feel like a lot of people here, um, or a lot of people that I know online is from here. So it's crazy that I'm finally getting to like put, <clears throat> you know, faces with names and you know these online friendships that i've built with people i'm happy that i'm able to like finally meet them in person like it means so much to me i definitely love her personality in person she is so sweet you guys go follow her too she does try on hoes always shopping like she does a lot of different places um so yeah go support her because she is like so down to earth and just so like i don't know fun to me she's an aquarius too i've been running into a lot of aquariuses lately like I don't know what it is. I guess I just need more Aquariuses in my life. But I don't know. I just, I really love Aquariuses. They really um, match my personality really, really good. Let me go because my camera is already about to die. Like, it's so annoying. 